Hello, welcome to lesson three, exercise number one. Here we're going to write a program that we're going to ask the user to input their age. And then based on that input, we're going to calculate how old they will be in 14 more years. And then we'll output the results as we have listed here. We're going to say you're now so many years old. In 14 years, you will be so many years old. So we're going to basically take the keyboard input uh, as a number and then we're going to uh, calculate something based on that and then we're going to output the results. So we're going to use the scanner class that we've been learning about here. First thing at the very top we need to import java.util.scanner and that's going to allow us to basically use the scanner class in our program. Alright so here we have our uh, main method here and inside here the very first thing we want to do is get set up to read this keyboard input and so now we need to create uh, an object of the scanner class in order to be able to do that. So the class name is here, scanner. So we're creating something of type scanner. We're going to name it input. And the reason I'm naming it input is because we're reading in from the keyboard. So you can kind of think of this as a type of variable sort of. And here's the name of the variable. It's a little more complicated than that. But essentially, we're creating something that we're calling input uh, of the type scanner or of the class scanner and we're setting that equal to a new copy of this scanner object that we're creating. Uh, so we're creating a new object of scanner type. Now the first thing that we need to do inside of our main method is get set up to read from the keyboard and so we need to uh, uh, do what's necessary to pull that off. And so the first line here is basically creating a new scanner object. So we have this uh, object called uh, of scanner class that's able to read things in from the keyboard different types of numbers and we need to create a copy of that a working copy that we can use in our program so we name it input because we're reading from the keyboard and we're creating a new scanner a new object of type scanner and the inside of the parentheses is just telling you that we're going to be scanning in stuff from the default system dot in which is basically from the keyboard so this is sort of standard boilerplate stuff that you have to include in order to get the scanner um, class to work for you so we're we bottom line is this line creates a new object of scanner type the name of its called input and that's going to be reading stuff in from the keyboard because of what we have right here alright so now that we have that squared away we need to create a variable to hold the age so we're going to create that here and we're going to initialize it to a value of one then we're going to print out on the screen, enter your age. Uh, and then we have this next line here, which actually does the reading. Now, the actual reading in from the keyboard is done just from this right here. The variable age we've created is equal to the scanner that we created called input dot next int. So in other words, we have a method here to read the next integer from the keyboard through the scanner class uh, object that we have created there. So we, we're going to read from the keyboard here, input.nextInt, right, with the two parentheses. That's reading from the keyboard. We're assigning that value to the variable called age. Now, all of this happens only if this if statement evaluates to true. So if the input, which is what we're uh, reading in here, has next integer equal to true. So in other words, if there is an integer waiting to be read at the keyboard, then we're going to read it in and assign it to the variable called age. That's what's going on right here. And this is sort of standard stuff. You just want to check and see if what's waiting at the keyboard is of the type that you expect before you actually read it in. Notice that age, the variable age is an integer. Notice that we're reading an integer in. That's no coincidence. They have to match. If you're going to read an integer in and assign it to something, you need to have those two things match. Okay, so we've read the age in from the keyboard. Then we print out, you are now so many years old based on what you typed in. And then we're going to add 14 years to that. We'll assign the result back into the age variable. Uh, it's fine to do that. We've already used our age to print out our current age. So we'll just use the same variable, add 14 years to it. And then we'll say in 14 years, you will be, uh, again, that however many years old that we've calculated. That is the basic idea of the program here. So let me save it. And let's go ahead and run this guy right here. Enter your age. Let's do something simple like 10. We'll enter 10 and I'll hit enter. You are now 10 years old. In 14 years, you will be 24 years old. All right, so it seems to work fine. We run it again, put something, you know, a little bit higher, 54. You're now 54 years old. In 14 years, you will be 68 years old. And of course, we're storing all this stuff in an integer so you can have very large numbers without a problem. And 54,587 years old and so on. 
So because we're storing in integers, you know, you can you can have large numbers associated with that. Now, one thing I want to draw your attention to is notice that we're only reading the keyboard here if this evaluates to true. So if the input has next integer doesn't evaluate true, then we actually never read anything from the keyboard. So what it's trying to do here is it goes and looks to the keyboard and figures out if there's an integer there waiting. And if there is, then you read it in. If there's not, then this keyboard input never happens and you just jump down below. So let me go ahead and see what happens here. What if we input something other than an integer? For instance, 54.25 years old. This is not an integer. This is a uh, decimal point. It could be represented as a double, as we've been using in Java, the variable called double. So let me hit enter here. Notice what happens. It says you're one year old and 14 years will be 15 years old. Why do you think that that happens like that? Because if this, when we type this in, then this has next int evaluated to false. So we never read the keyboard input. And then the program control just continues on down below and it just continues on down through the logic. Notice that we initialized our age at number one. So what happens is the rest of the stuff just continues to happen fine with the age of one uh, in there. Now, if you're really worried about that, if, if they typed in 54.25 and then you wanted the program to terminate or you wanted an error message to pop up or whatever, you could certainly put an if statement down there uh, to prevent this stuff from happening and to put an error message. The point of this exercise is not to make this look beautiful. The point is to make sure you understand the program flow. So again, from the top, we create a new scanner uh, uh, object. We're calling it input, right? And then we check to see if that input has an integer waiting. And if it's true, then we read it in and we assign the value of it to the variable that we've called age. Then we do the calculations. Then we print the stuff out to the screen. If there is no integer waiting there, then the keyboard input doesn't happen. The program control continues. But uh, in those cases, uh, you can see what happens here on the screen.